All right, guys, today, really quickly, I wanted to talk about some Infinity Game Table games that I think have been under the radar. For those of you guys who are not familiar with this product, this is the RK1 of Infinity Game Table. It's a board game digital table. There's over 100 games on there, but there's a few of these games that have kind of went under the radar that a lot of people haven't talked about that I want to talk about here today. The first game I want to talk about is Bowling Solitaire. This game lets you play up to four players at the same time, which is really cool. And you're basically playing solitaire like we all know and love, but you're playing it in a bowling format, which is really awesome. You're essentially trying to get rid of all your pins just like you would in bowling by using your balls over here and using math of these numbers. For example here, I can touch this zero, this six, and this six right here. If you add that up, that is 12. The last number of that number is two. So I can use the ball from over here and boom, all three of those disappear. You're trying to play this exactly like bowling and get rid of all of your cards on here in one area. And as you can see here, I have three cards left. If I hit the four, the three, and the one, that's an eight. Boom, I bowled a strike in round one and then the same thing repeats over and over again until you get through all 10 frames really really fantastic bowling solitaire game especially since it's competitive and it's my favorite solitaire version i've ever played the next game i want to talk about here is forzy this is a competitive 1v1 game as you guys are seeing here and what's really cool about this game is the fact that you're actually playing basically a connect four but a much more strategic game of connect four as you can see here, there's arrows that make these things go in different directions. So if I would hit this right here, he's going to go that way because that arrow makes him go that way. And you're essentially trying to move three of this or four of the same one into the same pattern here. So this person may go over here. They may go over there. And then it's going to go right back where it was thanks to the arrow. If this guy goes right here again, just like before, he's going to go right there. So eventually you're going to want to come over here and obviously block him so he can't make his four all the way over there as he tries to make four in a row. What's really cool is all the different pieces on the map do their own thing. So this one here, uh, for example, the glass shield, if you actually hit it and you come over here, it will actually destroy the ice if you hit it. And then the next time it just becomes a little ice packet. So if you come over here, it will just go that direction. And then the arrows do their own thing. And there's a bunch of different maps in the game that you can explore each with their own things. For example, these maps here are from another place, and they have berries on there that explode every time you hit them. Or the Enchanted Forest that has bombs all over the map that explode on impact. There's a lot of variety in this game. I really like it as a 1v1 game. Really uh, strategic game if you're into strategy games, and especially if you're fans of Connect 4, has that same vibe. And the last game I want to talk about here is Pixel Push Football. This game is so much fun. This is, reminds me of old school uh, when I was in high school and stuff where you were playing uh, Pixel Push Football where you made the paper football and you're trying to score on your opponents. Uh, you can have the CPU play on here. You have 1v1 that you can play against your friends. You can even have tournament mode as well, which is really fun. You even have these field guys that you're trying to make. Ooh, just hit the post there and couldn't make it. Fantastic games, guys. Check these out on the Infinity Game Table if you have not already.